rise and shine. In 2016, I met another millennial global leader who came to the United States as a Fulbright scholar. We became incredible friends and I told him that I would visit him in Kenya yeah, one day. Well, in 2020, that's exactly what I did. Look at this. I stuck all the way up in some mud. Look at this. Look at this. As you can see, I stepped all in some mud. But I got some new shoes, some new kicks. Yo, my shoes are so jacked up. Like it wasn't even worth doing anything with, so I just threw them away. Oh, they playing Travis Green up in here. This is how you know Africa is safe, okay? Since my visit was happening during the regular work week, I decided to go and explore a little bit while James was at work. And I really liked all of the different places that I saw, especially in this one mall. There was a shoe store that had wide sizes, but I didn't necessarily like all of the styles there. So I didn't buy anything. So I finally found a salon, do my filling and get my nails done. I'm also gonna get a pedicure. So I'm pretty excited about that. And we'll see what happens in just a moment. I was thoroughly excited to get this type of pedicure because they don't do this in China. This is what you're supposed to do, but they don't do it in China. Afterwards, I took a taxi ride with this man named Michael, and let me just tell you, our taxi ride was quite memorable. Give me a liver and a kidney. The seatbelt wouldn't even work. And then he's gonna tell me it's because I'm big. First, I'm not big. Um, yes. Big hips. But I got the seatbelt on. Cause I ain't gonna let him take my life and my money. <sighs> Bet you never met anybody like me before, huh? But you're really nice, I would say. Thank, well, thank you. I try to be like Jesus. <laughs> Friend, for some reason that cracked him up. He thought I was joking. Take me to the door. Yeah. You dropping me off right at the door, right? <laughs> you driving me into the living room. <laughs> What's happening with the economy right now? For me, I would say it's bad. The government doesn't do what it's supposed to do. People are getting poorer, the police are getting richer. But at least the city is still beautiful. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, all right. Remember, I told you, you gotta know you driving me up into the living room. Later during my visit, I also had an opportunity to visit James at the boarding school where he teaches, Nova Pioneer. It was a very beautiful campus, and I also got to meet one of his colleagues and friends, Winnie. So I'm here at James's school, um, and his friend Winnie came to meet me because he's in class. And we're walking from the boys' school, going over to the girls' school, very beautiful campus. Do you ever have like, organizational assemblies and and people interact together like the boys and the girls or not? once in a while but mm. most of the time it's a uh, completely different school oh you teach the boys yeah i do ah i thought you taught the girls how beautiful is this campus this bread and coffee looks so good and she is gonna get me some and what's your name i'm cynthia cynthia now wait a minute they just said I look Kenyan. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually the home of the great Kenyan coffee. So what makes Kenya's coffee so good though? The, the fact that it, it grows naturally here. Mm. It's just nature giving us the real coffee that we're supposed to bring. What do you think about other countries like Colombia that have really good coffee too? If the region actually is one that uh, supports uh, the growth of the trees and the berries, actually we have very good coffee. Mm. But ideally I think the East African coffee is the best in the world. So is it considered a privilege to, to be in a boarding school? I kind of figure yes, it is. Yes, yes. Actually in high school, it's like a must. Like it's something that is cultural. We, we actually believe like in high school you have to go to a boarding school. Why? If you don't go to a boarding school, uh, probably have medical issues. 
but it's just an experience that you don't want to miss. We actually uh, feel like when you go to a bonus school, you become like a man. You're able now to do your own thing. You can plan what you want to do. Yeah. You're living far away from home. Yeah. Living with your friends. It's kind of cool. After the tour that James gave me of the boarding school, I was fortunate enough to meet the headmaster and observe one of Winnie's classes, where I also got a chance to speak to the young gentleman there. For lunch, I decided to go back to that shopping mall and I went to Urban Gourmet Burger. Listen, this burger was life. It was so delicious. And I also got a little bit of dessert because why not? I was having fun on that day. <laughs> but my sole purpose for being out was to go to downtown Nairobi to the helipad and take some video footage and fly my drone and some photos, but didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it to. I, um, I came to the helipad apparently a little too late. And it turns out I'm gonna have to go right back. I'm, I'm just gonna come back tomorrow. I really, really, really wanted to be in my cute little outfit today. But I'm, I'm, I'm cute today though. So I didn't actually get to go back to the helipad because on that day I got there too late and the next day it was shut down because there was a funeral. However, I still got a chance to go to the giraffe center which is where we're headed right now. And let me tell you friend, this taxi ride was just as interesting as the other. Okay. Put it on the tongue of the giraffe. Like this? No. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, she's just so cute. Not only was this my first time feeding a giraffe, but it was my first time being this close to a giraffe. But when I tell you that James was so grossed out, it was like the highlight of my morning. So this one right here, Selma. If you run out of food, she head headbutts you. What's name? just stuck his tongue in once and it also See, this is why this the true MVP of our trip to the Giraffe Center is James's girlfriend, Leah. Leah was amazing. She let the giraffe lick all over her face. I mean, she's the one who gave me a little bit of encouragement to do it too. Give me a moment, I'm not ready. Oh, Infinity War? Yes, you are Thanos, boo. So remember when I told you that we were going to come back to the helipad so that I could try to get my footage and take photos? Well, we couldn't, but we did get a chance to go to the street market and mm, this place right here was love. I absolutely had so much fun here. Right here. 
yeah, it's about the same. You yeah. cute though. This guy is expensive. You cute though, but. Uh, he literally made shoes out of tires. Yeah. The soles never actually get depleted. And you see how beautiful they are? Just as we were deciding to leave, I heard the sound of drums beating. And as a former percussionist, I had to follow the music. And we found this percussion shop. Uh, where am I supposed to sit? <laughs> 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 yes, try. Just try. Just sit. Do it. Do it. How many? How many? A lot? A lot? A lot? What are you? More than 100? What do you think? Don't answer that. I'm not sitting down. Okay. I can't breathe. If I breathe, it's gonna fall. You're good. You're good. Say what you want, Fran. I am not a small sister, so I was really concerned that I was going to fall on the floor from sitting on that little bitty chair because I have trust issues when it comes to furniture. So, two brothers. Yeah. We just had a jam session. Yeah. I think they jammed more than I did. <laughs> so, he's a music teacher. and So, he makes these. Like, this is... You see this? And did you make this little chair I'm squatting on? Yes, yes. Are you making this little chair that's screaming for life yeah. right now? <laughs> How long have you been making instruments? Yeah, 13, uh, 13 14 years. Yes. Yeah, this is amazing. This is your shop. Yeah. You, just made, you just made my day and my brother's day. Okay, so now you have to play something to send me off. Yeah. It really was a beautiful Saturday. But the next day, James and I were going to church in Nairobi. I was super excited. Yeah, I'm ready for church. Kako, how do you get that shirt made? That's a nice made shirt. Uh, thank you very much. That was my design and I designed it. Unfortunately, this is the only footage that I got of the church service from that day, but it was a beautiful sermon. And afterwards, James and I caught a snack before we went back to his place and he cooked my farewell dinner. Oh, gonna miss me so much. Okay. All, All right. right. Still really good. Mm -hmm. James cooked my farewell dinner, which was my new favorite Kenyan meal. Uh, we have some lamb and some ugali and the different like uh, vegetables that go with it. Oh, friend, it's good. I don't want this, I got a Hennessy in my hand. It's time to say bye bye for now. <laughs> bye, Kaka. I'm actually, I'm actually a little sad to go. Nairobi is so amazing. I really enjoyed Nairobi. Michael came back to take me. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I will not forget you at Overall, all. Overall, the time I spent in Nairobi was amazing and I look forward to returning soon.